Good morning, everyone. We are live now. We are live. I can see a number of participants joining. You are welcome. So, sound check. Please let me know if you can hear me clearly. Kindly type yes in the chat box if you can hear me clearly. Okay. All right. So, um, quick introduction. My name is Kende Lawao. I am the founder of NigeriaCashflow.com, which is an online education platform teaching Nigerians about trading, investing, and online, plat online business. In today's AMA session, we have a great guest in person of Chile. He's a crypto ambassador, a crypto evangelist. Um, he's also an OG in the cryptocurrency space. And uh, when I say OG, I mean people that have been around since the early days, 2011. Am I right? <laughs> I, you're muted. You're muted. You're muted. Okay. So um, he's also the founder and CEO of Overbit.com, a cryptocurrency and forex derivative platform based in Seychelles. Uh, I'm so glad to be having this interview with you, Chile. Uh, thank you for coming. It's an honor to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, too. All right. So um, let's get started with the interview. Um, thank you. All right. So can you tell us a little about yourself, how you got into cryptocurrency, and um, all right, cool. what you were doing before cryptocurrency? Yeah, so like you say, I'm, I'm kind of OG. <laughs> uh, I've been involved with crypto, I think, since, yeah around not not really uh 2011 but around 2013 that's when i back in uh, college okay so uh like before we all know about bitcoin uh i, I was study computer science okay so okay. we have our uh college community and one of the friend of mine say that oh uh, there's a bitcoin you should go check it out okay so I, w I went and check it out, and then that's how I start get interested by the Bitcoin and blockchain back in uh, 2013. And okay. also before I'm involved with cryptocurrency or other stuff, uh, I also how to say I also trade forex myself. Okay. So I like trading, and okay. then uh, I think in 2015 or so. Uh, that is the time I see a platform called Big Max, right? Uh, they they have a derivative trading in in Bitcoin. Okay. So um, I start to look at it, and then uh, I feel that oh, there's a, a little bit complicated for most of the people. So in short term, uh, I start to want to like build a, a platform myself, a, a derivative trading platform myself. So that's how Overbit come out in uh 2018 yeah. okay okay that, that that's awesome um i actually got to know about bitcoin same 2013 during the days of uh, liberty itself i don't know if you mm -hmm. heard about that so um but i was a little bit skeptical because all the money i had in liberty itself got seized was frozen so um i had to wait until 2016 when i realized that okay bitcoin is still existing it hasn't been seized it hasn't been um um being shut down by any government so that's how i got into cryptocurrency so um and i could remember in the early days uh, i tried doing a seminar and only seven people showed up so how was it in the early days who were the people around oh that's good <laughs> <laughs> yeah who were the people around in the early days hmm? I said, who were the people around in the early days? Uh, I did mention Rogava in one of your interview. Who who were what? Roja I, I, I did mention Rojava, Rojava in one of your interviews. Yeah. So it was around in the early days. Yeah, I, I met her a couple of times in Japan and uh it's a fun guy. Uh, yeah, so um uh, people say he, well, he's quite influenced in Japan uh, especially. And then uh, my personal understanding is he he's one of the how to say a lucky guy, a smart guy to get into uh, Bitcoin that early. 
Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. So, um, why, while also researching about you, I, I, I had in one of your videos that your goal is to bring as many people as possible into cryptocurrency, right? Yeah, I think that's the goal for me and also for most of the people, right? Uh, I think, especially for Africa, I think you, you also want pe more people to start to know more about cryptocurrency, right? Uh, depends on you know, uh, lots of countries in in Africa. They, the the inflation rate is quite high. So so uh, I think getting involved with crypto will be more beneficial for you guys. Okay, okay, that that's awesome. That's awesome. So um, we have this uh, school of thoughts in cryptocurrency. Some people believe that Bitcoin is only going to be the major cryptocurrency, and all others are going to zero. And some people also believe that we are going to have another cryptocurrency that is going to outshine Bitcoin. So um, what's your view on this? Yeah, I think for, for, for myself, I, I, I really be, be, uh, believe in Bitcoin. That's how I started. And then if you look at all other currency, yes, there are few currency that is uh, really promising and they have lots of big potential. And but if you look at like there's over like thousands of cryptocurrency all coins we say that like, right there's thousands of all coins out there uh it just uh you you will you will be facing some of the you know fake coins or like shared coins that you guys talk about so uh for myself i only look at major coins so bitcoin ethereum and some some of the defi coin as well Okay. Okay. That, that's awesome. Awesome. So um, I know you are the founder of a cryptocurrency exchange. So uh, while going through your platform, I, I noticed that it's both a crypto and Forex derivative platform that you can trade both markets. Mm -hmm. So um, I like the fact that you also need to just um, um, send in Bitcoin and you can trade all markets. So what other features do you have on your platform? Yeah, so uh, we try to make it really simple, uh, as in, you know, when, when people get into the crypto, first they, they want to use fiat to, to buy crypto, right? And then after that, probably some of them want to trade with, with, with margin. So that's the case we, we want to really make sure that those people trading with margin, uh, they need to know what to do. So we, re we make over in really, really simple way to show people like how easy you can do in the margin trading. And the feature we have is, yeah, like you say, we, we only allow people to deposit Bitcoin or Tether and trade crypto, Forex or commodities and with, with high leverage. Okay. And, uh, and you, you, you notice that many other exchange, they offer their coins, right? They, like Binance, they have BNB and other okay yeah. they have okay coin. Like, you know, they offer these different coins. For us, uh, we don't want a, 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 a exchange token to be really like a noise to people. Uh, you know, when, when, let's say when Binance coin, like BNB, go down, people might think, oh, is Binance doing bad? Is Binance having some trouble? Like, yeah. we don't want this feeling to have for our people. So we don't use issues. Uh, tokens. We don't have overbit tokens. Instead, we use traditional way. So we, we give like a point system. Okay. So it's like a, a airline mileage. Okay. You, you okay. know, the more you do, the more activity you do in overbit, you will get a point. Then you can use the point to, you know, exchange some real cash. All right. All right. That, that's awesome. So um, what's the transaction fee? Like, what's the transaction fee? So uh, for the trading fee, actually, we, uh, trading fee, we, we, uh, we keep it really uh, 0.075%. Okay. So we, we keep it at this rate to provide a cross market trading. Okay. Mm. Okay. So, so what, what was the payout speed? Your payout speed? What do you mean a PR speed? Payout. Um, I'll, reg I'll, I'll regularize the payout. Is it anytime you want to withdraw during the day or you have um, intervals for oh, payout? Okay, so uh, for, for deposit and withdrawal, right? With deposit, you can, of course, it, you can deposit right away. But re uh, withdrawal is uh, due to the security, we, we process once a day. 
okay. So what time? What, what time is uh, that? Uh, what time right now in Africa? Okay. All right, I, I can, okay, I can say it's around five hours from now. Okay. Because I don't I know I don't know your time, so it's oh, five, okay. around five hours and from now. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, that's fine. So do users need to do any verification? ID verification? Yeah, they uh, of course they have to do KYC. Uh as you know, uh Big Big Max had had a trouble with that. So uh we, we need to really make sure everyone is uh met the requirement for the compliant team. Oh. Yeah. Okay, okay. So while doing the preparation for this interview, I asked for a couple of questions for my community. Okay. So some people were, were like, uh, do you need to be a coder or developer before you can start a cryptocurrency exchange? Do I need to be a coder? Or, yeah. Oh, myself, I don't need to be a developer. For my, I, I have a team that is really good at developing uh, an exchange because we, we came from a Forex background. My okay. team uh, used to build a Forex system and then we sold it to other companies. So uh, myself, I don't have any knowledge to build a system, you know, but uh, my team, my, my, my uh, developers, they are really good at that. So okay. yeah, you don't, I mean, being a co-founder or CEO, you don't have to no, uh, not to develop anything. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah. So uh, I know you've worked as a professional trader in the past. So do you still trade at the moment? No, I don't trade anymore. <laughs> I wish I can. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's good. So um, what's your biggest loss in your trading career? Biggest loss? Uh, if you look at, if you just talk about bigger biggest loss in one day uh, is around, uh, I think, 300,000. Wow. <laughs> one day, one day. So uh, <laughs> if you talk about long terms, of course, we, we like, like, I got more, more of that, but then, wow. uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> that's, that's just no good. I don't want to talk about like, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that's a big amount. That's a big amount. Yeah. That's a big amount. So uh, in my training community, I have a lot of newbies, and uh, most of them are always like, what's the best strategy? What's the best um, way of um, trading the market? So what, what's the best advice you could give uh, these newbies? Like for, for new new traders, uh, don't call them newbie, okay? At first newbie, I, I don't, I don't, yeah. New traders, right? New, okay. new, new people new coming to crypto is, you know, first time when they come in, uh, it, it, it's best thing first, don't, don't trade, all right? I mean, <laughs> it, like try to find a coin that is you really trust it. Yeah, you really trust the coin, and then you study it. Okay, then you can buy it, and then stay for a long term, right? Like okay. a year, two year, right? And if you if you have, uh, if your investment portfolio allow you to trade, you know, probably you can use twenty or thirty percent of your portfolio, okay. the money of you have. Okay. to get into the trading okay yeah, of course when, when you trade uh don't just follow anyone in twitter saying okay uh buy this now sell this now uh, make sure you study okay <laughs> i mean this is a really uh general advice for anyone in crypto or in traditional market as well okay and especially in crypto we are in really high uh volatile market you know bitcoin can be what was the price of Bitcoin right now? Let's see. It should be around right 49,000. Oh, 49,000. Uh, yeah. 49, so, <laughs> yeah. Tomorrow can be 45. You know, that's how volatile Bitcoin can be. So, if you want to trade, you, you really have to be careful and then uh, you have to study. That's true. That's true. That's true. So, uh, my personal mistake based on my journaling, uh, I realized that uh, I've issues when it comes to proper trade management and um, I, I kind of find it difficult to ride a trend so what I mean by riding a trend is really cashing in on a trend like if I, if I enter a position now uh, cash in and wait till probably the trend continues a month three months two months so can you advise on that can you give me an advice on on that well, well you mean you want to 
did you mean like there's a train of a coin going up and then I uh, enter a position and probably I exit before the main the main upward trend. I mean that, that that's fine. So so that's that's uh, really your fundamental of uh, your mental thinking. So so how how do you look at this? Is if you look at other way, you still make profit, right? You still make profit. It's just yes. matter of how much profit you make. So for myself, as long as I made profit, I'm happy. You know, my extra point was right. I make the profit. I make the profit I want. That's that's the that's the thinking you want to have. It's okay. not like I let's say my goal is to make five thousand dollars. All right. Okay. And okay. I exit. I make five thousand dollars of profit. I'm happy. Okay. Even though, even though the profit keep going can be twenty or thirty thousand dollars. Okay. But as long as I my goal is you you have to set your goal or else. Uh, <laughs> the market uh, you will set be it. upset. <laughs> Okay. Okay. That that's very nice. So um, I, I need to set my goal. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. So um, there's this question I also get asked a lot in my trading community. People want to know the major difference between uh, trading margin, leverage, and swap. Uh, you mean leverage, swap, and what? A margin. The major difference between oh. margin trade, leverage trade, and swap trading. Okay. So margin trading, leverage trading, they are the same thing. All right. So, which means you are using a small portion of your money, and then leverage that money to, you know, place a bigger order. So, margin, leverage, they 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 mean the same thing. And then when we talk about swap, so, um, the stuff we do right now, uh, for for new or for new traders, what we what we do is, we go to let's say we go to Binance, we use. Uh, oh, I don't know. Oh, Binance doesn't have a fiat. Oh, let's say you go to a fiat crypto uh, exchange. You use a hundred US dollar to buy Bitcoin, right? That's called spot trading, right? You use the real money to buy it. And then if you talk about margin trading, it's really similar. Uh, there's a, we call perpetual swap. It's really similar to uh, spot trading. It just, it gives you a, 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 a feature you can leverage. You know, and okay. then it's not using your real money is by contract. So that's uh, most of the people playing, you know, uh, most people are doing like this kind of a potential swap. They buy a Bitcoin contract and then either they want to go uh, long or go short. Oh. Then uh, they wait, you know, and then any wait until your goal. So any the take profit point you met, then you can exit or stop losses. So that's the point you want to take. And this is the way we trade in derivative, one of the most popular way to trade. And then if you want to talk about option and futures, those two products are more um, complicated for new people. So yes. we don't recommend people to go to Trading. futures or options. Okay. Most people just do swap or just do you know, Leverage. normal. Trading. Leverage. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. So, um, where do you see the blockchain industry in ten years' time? Uh, I think right now we have about three percent of the world, probably less than three percent of the world, having a Bitcoin account. So, in ten years' time, how many percent of the world do you see having uh, Bitcoin? And what, what do you think the price will be in ten years' time? Oh, the price. Okay, ten years. Ten years is quite long. But yeah, if you look at the the market cap of uh, 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 all the all the crypto. I think right now it's one point five trillion. Trillion, yes. Uh, yeah, it's still it's still a really tiny amount compared to the the entire market in the world. Okay. Uh, in ten years, definitely more more people will come to blockchain crypto. And if you look at the price, um, just say Bitcoin, all right? Uh, Bitcoin in ten years, uh, I believe it can go way higher than right now okay it just uh it's just how it is you know bitcoin only 21 million that's set and then more people get involved of course it will get more expensive so uh that's how the reality is it just during the this 10 years uh it's still the it's really big uh it's really volatile bitcoin so the price can be up and down really quick um, 
So for traders, uh, you have to watch out that. But then for the holders, you know, if you hold 10 years, I think that, that that's fine. And if you if you look at blockchain, uh, blockchain company, uh, the technology itself will be more, much more uh, mature. Right now, uh, we have D5, uh, you know, D5 is really popular. And uh, yes. still they, the, the technology of D5, uh, if you talk about smart contract, there's still uh, bugs and there's still some some uh, lack of security in the in the smart contract i believe 10 years will be more secure and then there's more real use case we can have in real life you know people can really use something and for our like for normal people to use something in the blockchain okay that, that's nice so um what, what was your experience on uh, defi uh, because mm -hmm. Personally, I've used um, some DeFi platforms to earn up to 16%, 20% uh, annual percentage uh, yield. So, so what's, your, what's your experience? Do you also do DeFi? No, so for my, I, I don't do uh, Yao farming. I, I don't uh, actually, well, I own a few DeFi products, but then uh, I don't trade. I also just hold it just, oh, just yes. for uh, the, the value itself. My take on DeFi is, uh, you know, it's still quite early age, either for blockchain or DeFi. Uh, you just have to see what is the team behind the project. And then if you believe the team, uh, just go with it. Uh, personally, I, I don't do any like the, the, the farming. <laughs> okay, okay. Awesome. So um, of recent, I, I tried using uh, Uniswap to liquidate one of my position in a coin. Uh, I got in around $400 just a particular coin. So on, in trying to liquidate it, because the, the coin actually dropped to about $200. So in trying to liquidate it, I realized I'm going to be spending up to $80 as transaction fees to liquidate that trade. So uh, personally, I now have the viewpoint that uh, a lot of users won't be able to afford such a fees. And that could actually reduce the rate of adoption of platforms like uh, Uniswap. And Ethereum. So, what was your take on that? Yeah. So, when 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 the price or when the activity in in in, in Ethereum blockchain when it go really high, the, the the gas price can be really really high. Uh. So, I think that is uh something they have to do with in the Ethereum blockchain. They have to make it really more, uh, because we we get more users to is to 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 use it. Although like Ethereum two point already made some improvement. Uh. It's just that we, we still need more much more improvement on that or else uh you know people might think uh it's still too expensive to, to do the swap and then um, probably they will jump to in other platform uh, but currently you know uh, ethereum is still the, the most popular platform to, to, to build the DeFi on so yes. uh it's just there's a take there's a game. yeah uh, you, you, uh right now we just have to bear with it we have we have to wait for the updates or uh, or else you know or you just don't do the swap I mean, sure sure <laughs> sure and, and and you know we have uh competitors like the binance smart chain which which is already like um overtaking ethereum right now in terms of mm -hmm. daily transactions so i feel a lot of users are just going to move to the binance smart chain because of the lower fees cheaper fees okay so we also have uh thought leaders in the cryptocurrency space like um, Andre Antonopoulos saying that cryptocurrency actually has more use case in uh, Africa than well developed nation. So do you, do you agree with that? Uh, sorry, uh, do I agree on what? Okay, uh, we have some thought leaders like Andre Antonopoulos. Mm -hmm. He said that cryptocurrency actually has more use case in Africa than in world developed nations like america oh yeah yeah of course that that's true because uh if you look at the well developed country like for myself i mean hong kong right now right so uh our bank our government like everything is quite you know uh, trustworthy and then everyone is using it so people to use Bitcoin is more like there's less people to really use Bitcoin. But if you look at less developed countries like uh, Africa or like uh, Philippines, uh, you know, those countries they 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 want to use cryptocurrencies because they don't trust the government. 
you know, yes. sometimes government do do something uh, bad, and then the inflation inflation rate just go really oh, high. Yeah. So so uh, they have to find a way to uh, to to solve their case, and you know, their money, their their money, like how it's not safe to save in the bank, then where the money can be safe in. So they have to find a way. So <laughs> cryptocurrency is a is a good way to do it, and I'm glad that uh, Bitcoin is you know is available for everyone. So that can be really helpful for those countries. Okay, okay, awesome. Uh, do you have a plan to come to Africa? Uh, I mean, physically? If I physically go to Africa, yes, I, I would like to, like, uh, after, I don't know when this uh, COVID-19 can be over, but then once it's okay. over, I, I definitely want to go to uh, anywhere. Okay. Uh, if you talk about over bit, going to Africa, uh, actually we, we talked about globally, so everyone okay. in anywhere is, is welcome. So okay. uh, yes, Africa is a really good country to, 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 to go to. to. And then okay. um, uh, people, you know, the usage, like you say, everyone, like most people have the usage of the cryptocurrency, so definitely. Okay, okay, awesome. Um, okay, uh, besides we have uh, game reserves in Africa, we have um, other unique, um, um natural things in africa you, that you love so i think it's a good idea so um have you ever been asked or got your bitcoin or cryptocurrency stolen before um okay over haven't been hacked yet myself no i haven't been hacked however when i started bitcoin really in the early stage i lost my perfect key i couldn't find i think i lost some Five or six Bitcoin data. Like, I, I just couldn't find it. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's well, at that time, it's cheap, right? Just remember, at that time, it's cheap. cheap. Don't look at it right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, okay. So, um, I like asking this question, like, what's the biggest profit you've made in cryptocurrency? But um, some people don't like to answer it. So, probably you just tell us what's the biggest thing that has happened to you in cryptocurrency? The biggest thing? Biggest? Yeah, the biggest thing. Because I think it's uh, Bitcoin. Bitcoin is my biggest gain. <laughs> awesome. You know, I, 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 you know, I started really early stage. Look at the Bitcoin price right now. Yeah, I'm really happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's cool. That's cool. So, um, what's your view on regulation? Because um, uh, right now, a lot of regulatory bodies are trying to uh, regulate cryptocurrency in general. So do you think it's going to stifle innovation or it's going to increase adoption? Well, uh, regulation in different countries, I would, I, we, we really monitor it really closely because we are doing marginal trading. So uh, we need to really pay attention on different countries, like how the regulator in those countries doing. And uh, for myself, I think uh, in some way, cryptocurrency has to be regulated. Uh, okay. It just, uh, yeah, you, you know, it's hard to not regulate anything when you come to involve with your country and with your fiat money. So those countries have the re, uh, responsibility to to protect their people, you know, to protect their country's money. So so, uh, somewhat regulation is needed. Is needed. Yeah. Okay. Okay, awesome, awesome. So, of recent in Nigeria, we, we had this, uh, the Central Bank of Nigeria banning uh, deposit-taking banks and payment processors from facilitating the deposit and withdrawal into cryptocurrency exchange. So, I know, I know this is not going to affect your cryptocurrency platform because you don't deal with fiat, right? No. So, but, but what do you think is the, is the effect on cryptocurrency adoption? Uh, because I know there's a similar occurrence in China as well, where uh, there's a fiat ban. Okay, so so what 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 do you think is going to happen on this? So for uh for the so when we we when we go into a cryptocurrency first stage, we have to you know use fiat to exchange to 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 to, to crypto. So uh. It's needed that like in any country we have to have the surface where it allow people using fiat to crypto and then 
uh, eventually crypto, uh, crypto back to fear. So uh, I don't know. Uh, I forgot what what was your question, but yeah, you know, fear to uh, mon uh to crypto protocol like this portal is needed. Okay. Okay. I I I I think we are going to have a lot of P2P users because of the ban. That's just my view. P2 peer to peer users. People trading. Yeah, there's the P2P users to just exchange uh directly without uh, any bank involved. That's fine. Uh uh yeah i think that's <laughs> okay so of recent we had this uh gamestop short saga uh gamestop where uh an edge fund Mel melvin capital lost billions so what do you think is the lesson to be learned lesson that traders need to learn from uh such occurrence so you talk about the gamestop right yes uh i mean this is, I think this is the first time I really see the, the, the retail traders have the power to really, uh, to really, uh, you know, manipulate a price. But then at the end, you can see everything, everything back to normal. So, so it just, uh, it's a cool thing to see this happen. It just that, uh, you know, there's something we cannot fight against. You know, somebody, somebody, someone, someone say, you know, Wall Street, they are, you know, they are, they are monsters. Well, they are because they have the money. We don't, and then no matter how many people you gather and how many people you trust, you just yeah. cannot buy. Them. So, so, uh, yeah, it's it's funny. It's fun it's, to see that. It's funny. Are, are we going to see more occurrence like that? <laughs> uh, probably not. To be honest, because people see, they try it and they don't see the point and then uh yeah but not that often i don't think we will see that often okay okay so um i, I want us to play a, this or that game i'm going to okay. mention two things you just choose one That's all one. right so bitcoin or blockchain bitcoin uh fiat or crypto oh crypto crude oil or solar uh solar Okay, gold or virtual assets? Virtual assets, right? You can't, yeah, virtual assets. <laughs> okay, day trading or HODL? Well, HODL, yeah. Okay, Rogava or CZ? CZ. <laughs> oh, why? Because CZ is a builder. <laughs> well, CZ, CZ is, a, is a CEO of an exchange like me, so, and okay. he's smart. He's, he's way smarter than Roger Burr. Yeah, yeah. Tesla or Mercedes Benz? Tesla, because I have it. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> so, do you think do you think Craig Wright? Okay, do you think Craig Wright is Satoshi? Uh, no. Um, I think probably is being used to just uh, cause drama and destruction. Yeah, he 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 just uh, the one of the early investment people in Bitcoin. Uh, I don't think he's Satoshi. I I would more believe Satoshi is a team. Okay, so um, I know you're a very busy person and um, I've got to go. But before you leave, I just have uh, about two more questions. All right. And um, I would like to know your favorite life and success principle. Like a, source, a principle that you have been abiding to and it has been working well in your career. So my principle of, okay, let's say my principle, principle of being success is you have to know your goal first. So this is the really first point, like, uh, it's like playing the game, right? Like, okay. let's say, I don't know what game. Uh, okay, let's say playing a chess. Okay. So your goal is to win. Okay. So it's the same thing, right? So right now we are playing a game of life, you know, okay. I'm playing myself. So what is my point of success? My, my, my goal is first make money, right? And then to have, uh, to have family, right? Yeah. So that's that's my my goal. So how do you make money? Then you have to find a way to, to, to do it. And so that's you have to really the, the key of the success. You need to find a goal. If you don't have a goal, you, you don't know where to go. You, you cannot find your direction. Yeah, right. So yeah, you right. Have to always remind yourself is what you want to do. Um, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're right. You're right. So um if you have to have one of your wishes answered by God, just one wish, one of your wish, what's the wish going to be? Right now? Yeah, one wish. Oh, right now, right yes. now I wish COVID is over. 
Wow. Or, or, or maybe more is like no more pan, uh, pandemic. No more pandemic. <laughs> okay, that, that's, that's awesome. That's awesome. So where can people find you? Where can people find you online? And where can people find your exchange? Oh, they can just go to operabit.com. And then if they want to find me in person, uh, I have Twitter account. You can find me at, like, at Chilu. Uh, uh, oh, no, that, that's that's different name. It's CL under slash, uh, under slash Overbit. Or you can just go to Overbit to, to, to find just my, find you. Uh, I think there's my information too. Okay, okay, awesome. Yeah. So do you have any special package or bonus for my community, my viewers, to join uh, Overbit? Uh, special what? Do you have any special package or bonus for my communities to join over a bit? Uh, maybe oh, well, new, new, yeah, new signups. Yeah, for every new sign up, because uh, the one of the thing I want to people to have is the I want people to practice. So, uh, like, if you sign up, uh, you don't of course you don't want to use your real money to to pay with it right away. So okay. there's a, a demo account you can. You can have, I think, eight Bitcoin and fifty thousand USDT to try the platform. You know, okay. once you, oh, okay, you have to try it. No matter what, like or overbid or other stuff, you have to try it first. And then if you like it, you can buy it or you can, you know, continue to use it. Okay. So, uh, this is the first step for everyone. I like, try it. If you like it, then you can deposit. And we also give new new sign up for uh thirty uh dollar bonus. Wow. Well uh when they complete a kyc okay okay that's yeah, so when they do complete kyc they will get a bonus the bonus uh, again is allow you to trade and then if you make a profit you can just uh, withdraw it okay yeah. awesome awesome so um it's been a wonderful 45 minutes of discussion i uh, i wish i could extend it ask more and more questions so um i have to let you go and i look forward to having you another time so, yeah, sure. So thank you for your time. You have a great Nigeria. day. I will, I will, yeah, I would like to meet you in person. All right. Thank you. So uh, thank you for your time. Do you have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Yeah. Bye. 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 Yeah.